Hi there, in the story ninjas in the house. With a storybook, so definitely a story. But just a little bit something about today. Today is the 2nd of June. And it holds a very special set of memories. Because the 2nd of June is my little G's 12th birthday. So yes, uh, you know that my little G is my camera crew, my content director, my wardrobe mistress, etc, etc. And so she's very much here, though we don't often get to see her, or probably you haven't at all. So I'm going to ask her to just pop her little fingers in. Juma. Hi. And happy birthday. But then, here's another special friend who has a birthday today. So we say happy birthday to Artie too. And Artie's actually three years old. So my little G has asked that I read this story because she is sure that Artie would love it as much as she did. Our story is called Dorothy's Visit. And when you look at the picture, so I'm holding it a bit closer. Dorothy's Visit. Who do you think Dorothy might be? Think, 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 eh? So the story is written by Sally Ward, workshop by Bongi Blomo, and illustrated by Marjorie van Yerden. The book is part of the Little Library Collection. So, I'm going to leave you to think just another second more as to who Dorothy could be. Okay? So this is how our story starts. One day, the postman brought Farida a postcard from Uncle Tamu. Uncle Tamu was a game ranger who lived in a reserve. And I'm sure it must be a wildlife reserve. But yes, let's read this postcard. Dear Farida, I am sending my friend Dorothy to visit you. She would like to see how you live in town. She loves bananas and she really likes tea with milk and sugar. I'm sure you'll become good friends. Love Uncle Tamu. And the postcard was addressed to none other than Miss F. Patel, 28 Rose Street, Linasia, postal code 1820. So that's our little Farida. Now Farida was very excited. Oh, she couldn't wait for Dorothy to arrive. She ran around the house singing. So I want you to have a good look at her little friend Farida. Right. A visitor for me. Her name is Dorothy. She loves bananas and sugar with her tea. Oh, Farida's preparing herself. Very early the next day, Farida put on her best dress. She made tea and put a big bowl of bananas on the table. Wow, Farida is really preparing herself for this visitor. What would Dorothy be like? She said to herself. I'm sure you're asking yourself the same question. And Farida looked at the postcard again. And what did she see? Would you like to see again too? Come, let's have a look. An elephant on the postcard? Yes, I'm sure you saw that too. Dorothy must be an elephant, she thought. What will I do? Ooh, Farida's mind is reeling. She's thinking, what will she do with an elephant? Who knows how big an elephant is? It's huge. It's possibly nearly as big as my house. Then we'll play hopscotch. Um, but maybe Dorothy will make holes in the pavement. Oh my word. We'll play hide and seek. Now close your eyes. <gasps> no peeking. But there'll be no way for Dorothy to hide. Let's see. Did you think an elephant could hide behind a tree? Ah, oh, so we'll have tea instead. But Dorothy will eat 
all the bananas in one big gulp. And there'll be none left for me. Hmm. And if she stays the night, she'll flatten my bed. Oh my word, an elephant in Farida's bed. And my pink blanket won't cover her at all. Oh, oh dear, a visitor for me. Her name is Dorothy. She can't play hopscotch or hide behind a tree. Hmm. Just then the doorbell rang. Tring, tring. Farida opened the door slowly. And there was Dorothy. Do you really think there's an elephant at the door? Shall we take a peek and let's see? Oh, exclaimed Farida. Welcome, Dorothy. You're not an elephant. You're just like me. I think Farida was so relieved to have another little girl to play with, don't you think? I have a friend, her name is Dorothy. She loves bananas and sugar with her tea. Oh, wow! Farida and Dorothy definitely had a fun time visiting. And now I'm just wondering, was your imagination that mad and that crazy and wild to think that Dorothy was actually an elephant? Well, if you were thinking that, I would say that you have the most fantastic and awesomest imagination. Think big. Think wild. Because there are many brilliant ideas that are born from those wild imaginations. So go well until I see you next time. And bye.